following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, to make starters, this is the first thing we're going to do is level through the accessible gear. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation Selects Legacy Deluxe Class Autobot DK-3 Breaker. So this figure is based on the blue diachrome version of Tri Ale Breaker, hence the name reason why his name is uh, DK-3 Breaker. And um, just like a DK-2 Guard, I renamed this figure, and I gave him the new name of Trail Smasher, just to give him a more interesting name than the one he officially has, so that's what I'll be referring to him throughout the rest of the review. So here's his box. It's similar to the other Generation Selects Legacy Deluxe Class figure of Lift Ticket, who is based on the red diachrome version of Hoist. It's almost the same artwork, but you got the head sculpt there, so it's not a duplicate art of the artwork used on Lift Ticket. And of course, you got the uh, sticker here to tell you which character you're getting inside the box if the artwork was no artwork wasn't an easy giveaway. And yes, uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, Generation Selects Legacy boxes. It's almost entirely black cardboard with a uh, uh, brownish tan outline. And of course, has Rundercar told me our advertising that it's plastic free packaging. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the box, so without further ado, let's get this guy opened up and take a close look at him in robot mode. Alright, and so here is DK-3 Breaker, or as I've renamed him, Trail Smasher, out of his box. And as I said a moment ago, he's based on the blue diaclone version of Trail Breaker, so as a result, just like his original diaclone action figure, he is a straight-up repaint of Earthrise Trail Breaker, who was released two years ago in 2020. And uh, for what it is... Is be trying is being a the uh, blue diachrome version of Trailbreaker turned into an official Transformers character. I think Hasbro and Decard told me did a pretty good job uh, of emulating the uh, diachrome action figure action figure and turning it into an official Transformers character. Um, I don't know if uh, I believe just like DK-2 Guard or the black diachrome version of Ironhide. This is a brand new Transformers character. The Blue version of Trailbreaker before this figure was released, uh, Takara Tomi hadn't even uh, given it a identity and turned it into a Transformers character, at least as far as I'm aware of, that's the case. I, guess I could be incorrect, but considering the name that's the, the official name of this action figure, uh, I believe that it is, in fact, a recently created uh, Transformers character. So, um, as far as articulation goes, if you have Earthrise Trailbreaker, then it's the same, same thing here. Here, just like the original Diaclone figure, everything here is the same as what we got with Earthrise Trailbreaker. The main difference is that all the parts on Trailbreaker that were black are now blue here on this figure. Here, so you got a decent amount of articulation in the arms, swivel joints in the wrist, hinged elbows, swivel biceps, arms can go in outward at the shoulder. Although the head is on a ball joint and it can spin left and right 360 degrees, but you do have to remove the uh, the uh, hologram projector and the uh, shield generator out of the way to get head articula access to head articulation. Swivel joints in the wrist, universal jointed hips, so you can get the arm kibble out of the way. The legs can go outward so the figure can do full splits. Legs can go forward this far, they can go back. They can only go back this far, unfortunately, unfortunately due to the boxy shape of the hips. Hips uh, hitting the, uh, hitting the uh, top of the pelvis right there, as you can see. Right there, so unfortunately, not much back movement in the leg. And you got silver joint and points in the thighs, hinge knees, and you have ankle rockers. So, if you want to get the figure into a sprawl legged pose, you can do so. Do so, so yeah, um, pretty, pretty fantastic looking action figure for being a straight up repaint of Earthrise Trailbreaker. Alright, and so for some quick size comparisons in robot mode, here is DK-3 Breaker for Trail Smasher next to Earthrise Trail Breaker. So yeah, uh, these figures are straight up repaints of, this figure is a straight up repaint of Trail Breaker. One thing you can do to distinguish them is put the, uh, 
a shield generator, eight are on opposite arms, arms in the Generation 1 cartoon, a trailbreaker had this permanently attached to one of his arms, arms, so basically trailbreaker was one-handed, and it, so that's one thing you can do to distinguish them from each other. Others have a have them on opposite sides, so you can have Trailbreaker be left-handed and have Trail Smasher be right-handed. And um, I can't. It's a. Uh, so technically, I, I it's better shown in vehicle mode, but just like the original Diaclone figure, the same stripes are on the back. Same Autobot logo here, even though this guy was never a Transformers character. So pretty amazing how they got the stripes the exact same, same on both blue and black plastic. And for some special, other special size comparisons, here's the original version of the mold. We have Earthrise Hoist. Hoist, and just to have every version of the mold, here also is Generation Select's lift ticket that I got at the beginning of the year. Here, sorry for not having them all quite on, fully on screen. There we go, back in the camera for a bit. It's, so yeah, there is every version of the uh, Earthrise, version of Earthrise Hoist. Hoist and um, pretty much the only version version from the Diaclone line of this mold that we're missing is the uh, yellow version of Trailbreaker. Uh, there's no word yet from Hasbro and Dakar told me at this point if the yellow version of Trailbreaker is going to be uh, made in this mold as well. But uh, out of the box and having it in hand in robot mode, uh, oh, the DK-3 Breaker, he doesn't feel like he's suffering any mold degradation, so the mold is strong enough that if Hasbro and Dakar told me where to use it a fifth time to make the yellow Diaclone version of Trailbreaker, they could potentially do that. Do that, I would buy it if they released it. But yes, uh, yes, it's incredible that we've gotten two of the three Diaclone versions of Hoist and Trailbreaker Baker released in the Generation Selects line. Right? And I think they all look pretty amazing standing beside each other. I um, mean, <clears throat> I believe it's either episode 2 or episode 3 of the G1 cartoon. Trailbreaker was hanging out with some of the, the Autobots' uh, human friends, and when the Decepticons attacked, Trailbreaker transformed into his alt mode, and he uh, rescued them and took the got the humans to safety. And even though he wasn't that fast, he told them that he had lots of strength and stamina. So, stamina. so I can see a uh, lift ticket, Trail Smasher, Trailbreaker, and Hoist uh, easily acting as the... Uh, Muscle for Optimus Prime and the Autobots. Autobots, but yeah, they really do like look like a nice, uh, nice uh, team of truck team of trucks standing amongst each other. Other so other and um, <clears throat> the reason why my voice keeps failing is because I'm trying to find stuff to say, but because this guy is unlike a lift ticket, he is a brand new character as far as I'm aware of. Here, there isn't much else to say about him other than the fact that um, it's nice that Hasbro and Dakaratomi decided to turn the blue Diaclone version of Trailbreaker into an official and distinct Transformers character. But further delay, let's get, get this figure transformed into alt mode and wrap up the review. Alright, so here is DK-3 Breaker, Trail Smasher, it's alt mode. It's the exact same as Trailbreaker, the only difference is that... Uh, Again, the black parts are now blue, and of course the wheels are unpainted uh, black plastic, and I believe, yeah, this is the first version of this mold that has unpainted wheels, so here it is next to Trailbreaker. The uh, racing stripes on the side are the exact same pattern. That was true of the, uh, when, this figure, when these figures were in the Diaclone line. I know. But yeah, I'm really thrilled with how it came out. Um, one thing that has me concerned is that fresh out of the box, there's a stress mark here on the back. X section, so that's really discouraging to see the uh, stress marks straight out of the box. But overall, I do not like how the figure came out. Um, it does fairly roll, roll well for us, uh, as well as this vehicle mode can roll on a solid, su solid surface. Surface. It doesn't help that the front wheels are clipped in place and they're very flat. But yeah, overall, uh, pretty great for again being the blue Diaclone version of Trailbreaker. And for another size comparison, here also are hoist and lift tickets. So here's every version of the mold that's been in released. So it is pretty impressive to that Hasbro and Dakar Tommy decided to 
turn the blue diachrome version of Trailbreaker into an official Transformers character. I really hope we get the yellow version of Trailbreaker as well, just to have every uh, diachrome version of the mold that was originally used to make Trailbreaker and Hoist. At least I'm glad that Lift Ticket and the blue, blue one have been uh, made into official Transformers characters. Characters um, Again, I really hate the official name on this guy being DK-3 Breaker. Baker, that's why I renamed him Trail Smasher. If we get the yellow version of the yellow diachrome version of Trailbreaker, I really hope that Hasbro and Cartoon come up with a much more creative name than they did with this figure here. Here, here. They, I wish they do uh, something like Trail Cutter, which was Trailbreaker's uh, trademark day, name during the 2010s. And but yeah, I'm really thrilled with how diverse the colors are on all four of these figures. Thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been my review of the Transformers, Transformers Legacy Generation Selects DK-3 Autobot Breaker, a.k.a. the Blue Diachrome version of Trailbreaker. I hate the official name on this figure. That's the main grab I have with it. That's why I'm going to first thing refer to him as Trail Smasher from now on. But yeah, it's really nice seeing him standing here, not only besides Trailbreaker, but also Hoist and Lift Pick. It get, it get so. Do I recommend getting this figure and adding it to your <clears throat> Transformers collection? I absolutely do. You cannot go wrong having having an Earthrise Trailbreaker in blue plaque. Astic and Astic and yes, I really, as you can tell, I really enjoy the play this mold. Old and so I hope we get the uh, fifth and final uh, final version of the mold, which is the yellow version of Trailbreaker. So thank you guys all so much for watching, and until next time, you guys Transformers roll out. Goodbye, everyone.